and that it is better to give rather than to receive. Giving is not losing, because by giving, you are achieving something much greater than what you gave. When you do receive a gift or a blessing, you must learn to show gratitude. It is then that you will truly appreciate what you have been given. I am grateful for life and for freedom. I was born in Congo, a country in Central Africa. For a long time, this country, the citizens had no rights and no freedom. From the early 1600s, um, 60s to the 90s, a barbarous leader ruled all over this country. This ruler was unfair and harsh and terribly cruel. Because of him, the citizens of this country lived in fear and in poverty. In the year 1996, about a year before I was born, a terrible war struck Congo. This war changed the course of this country's future and of its citizens. This war started out small, but as time passed, it grew into something much bigger than anyone had imagined. Mass genocide wiped out the population, and no one was saved from the hatred that was sweeping over the country. At this time, most children were abandoned, homes, were, homes and towns were annihilated, people went missing, precious belongings were left behind, and food was scarce, and water was tainted by the blood of the innocent that had been spilled. All around the country, survivors walked, survivors walked for days, weeks, and even months looking to find peace. The lines were immense, filled with people that were longing to see a sign of freedom. No matter how far their feet took them, the darkness and the hatred shattered over them. Most did not have anything left to believe in, no one left to be with, and nothing to live for. For most people, a year or two may not be a long time, but for the citizens of Congo, it felt like decades. Although times are hard, some found the light. This light was hope. This hope, which started out as something small, slowly emerged. This hope made its way through the hearts of the Congolese citizens, and slowly, peace found its way through the country. The citizens grew strong, and together they started rebuilding the country. Till this day, the effect this war had had not yet faded. This country is still in pieces that are st slowly being picked up. Since I had already been relocated to a new country, I did not have to face the same cruel fate my fellow citizens did. I watched and heard of those close family members, neighbors, friends, and other individuals that I knew suffer from what this war had become. Through the many struggles and challenges the war threw at them, many of these people lost everything they had ever come to know. Even now, almost 14 years later, I still find myself thinking of how miraculous it was that I survived through all of this. As I think back to this time of my life, I realize I have been, giving up, I have been given a blessing. I have lived safely through this bloodshed. Although times have been hard, I have not been hard. When I think back, I realize how grateful I should be. I had once lived in a place with no freedom, hope, or peace, but now I live in a place known for its, for its freedom and peace. I live in America. My heart is forever grateful for this gift I received at such a young age. It is something that I will carry with me for the remainder of my life. As we express our gratitude, we, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is to not utter words, but to live by them. Those were the wise words of President John F. Kennedy. I may not know what my future holds, but, or what I'm going to do with my life, but one thing I do know for sure is that I will keep striving to help those who are less fortunate than I am. I am still young, but I want to keep growing as the type of person who will make a difference for others, that will give hope to those who lack it, and that will leave those searching for freedom to, pi to find peace and liberty.